what happens when you take uh, gigaspaces to scale? Because uh, I think there are a lot of ways to to use gigaspaces. Of course, we use one use case, and I think what we kind of do special with Avanza is not only that we have a large volume of data in, in gigaspaces, because we have something like I don't know, 20 or 30 terabytes of in-memory data on top of our gigaspace platform. Uh, but we also use it all over the bank. It's our only way to store data for all our services. Uh, and Avanza, as of today, has uh, in all of its uh, backend uh, systems roughly 1,200 unique microservices, unique programs. Uh, that we deploy in over 4,000 instances on this uh, in-memory in grid. Out of those, I think 740 store state or stateful. Uh, and if they store data, they are built on top of gigaspaces. So we have something like 740 PUs in our system. Um, and these services, they range from storing like half a gigabyte up to, at the moment, 3.2 terabytes, and we deploy them in anywhere from 2 to 114 instances for service. And I think somehow this is like one of the most important sentences of this whole presentation. We're able to use the same architecture, to use the same design, and the same overall layout of all our services. So for a developer, it doesn't matter if the service they're looking at contains half a gigabyte or 3.2 terabytes of data. They are still able to build the systems in the same way 